The second weak experimental design is called the one group pre-test post-test design. So here again we have one group involved which means we have the experimental group present and there is no control group. But this experiment is an advancement of the first design because there is a pre-test now involved and because of the pre-test this design is a bit better than the first design. So there is one group which is present here and that is the experimental group and that experimental group is first of all pre-tested on dependent variable which means we find the variables before the treatment and then we give them the treatment and then we take the post-test and from the result of the post-test we can find the effect of the treatment. Symbolically we can represent this design by that we start with the pre-test then we go towards the treatment of the group and then we take the post-test. So the pre-test is represented by O1 which means the first observation or the pre-test. The treatment is represented by T and the post-test is represented by O2. So it's a better experimental design than the one short case study as the pre-test score is now available. But what is the advantage of the pre-test score being available? Because if the pre-test score is available, then we can find the effect size. We can find the effect of the treatment. So how we can find the effect of the treatment? By subtracting the post-test score from the pre-test score. So we go for O2 minus O1. Remember the control group is present here. The weakness of this experimental design is that the influence of confounding variables threatens the validity of this experimental designs. कि हमारे पास कुछ ऐसे variables हो सकते हैं जो कि confound कर सकते हैं हमारे experimental results को. For example, the effect of pre-test and the effect of maturation with time. We will discuss this in the later slides. Let us understand the pre-test post-test design from some examples. So if we go to our previous example which was the effect of mobile deprivation on mood. So to perform this experiment with the second experimental design we will first of all measure the mood before the mobile deprivation and then the group is deprived of the mobile and then the mood is measured after the deprivation of the mobile after some time. So then we are in a best position to find the effect of mobile deprivation on the person mood. Similarly, in the second example of measuring effectiveness of online quiz in mathematics, so if we can find the score of the student before the quiz and then after taking the online quiz, we again take a post-test and then subtract the post-test score from the pre-test score, then we can find the effect of online quiz on the performance. What are the weaknesses in this one group pre-test, post-test design? So the first one is that because there is a pre-test involved. So when pre-test involved, it means that the group is taking two times the test. One time they are given the pre-test and then they, they are given the post-test. So because of taking the pre-test, so this pre-test sensitize participants and then their experience with the pre-test may affect their performance on the post-test through practice, which means कि अगर एक दफा एक ग्रुप को हम प्री टेस्ट देते हैं और फिर हम कुछ देर के बाद उनसे पोस्ट टेस्ट लेते हैं तो प्री टेस्ट लेने की वजह से उनका एक एक्सपीरियंस लेवल आ गया है उनका उनकी प्रैक्टिस हो गई है इसीलिए जब हम उनसे पोस्ट टेस्ट लेते हैं तो पोस्ट टेस्ट में वो बेटर परफॉर्म कर सकते हैं सो वी विल फाइंड इट डिफिकल्ट कि वेदर द इंप्रूवमेंट वाज बिकॉज़ ऑफ द ट्रीटमेंट और वाज इट बिकॉज़ ऑफ द प्रैक्टिस ऑन द टेस्ट the second is performance in post-test may also improve due to maturation. If we have experimental researches that where the participants take the post-test after a few days or after a few weeks or months, then there is maturation be involved in improving the performance on the post-test. So we will be thinking that the performance on the post-test was improved because of the treatment, but maybe the performance on the post-test was improved due to the general inclination towards maturation ke jaise jaise time guzarta hai so the individuals get more matured they keep on learning and because of their maturation they may perform better on the post test 
if the gap between the pretest and the post test is large the third is the performance in the post test may be affected by history which means that when the group leaves the experimental setup and they go towards their home or they come towards their original life so they have different experience of life so maybe the life at home or the events occurring at home result in improving the performance on the post test isi tarah school ka media ka or the experience on the workplace or through extra reading the performance on the post test may be improved